Oh, hi everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love and today you're joining me for a beautiful sunrise in Burley Heads in the Gold Coast in Queensland, Australia with my beautiful partner Peter. Um, we're just about to go for a cycle which is crazy because you guys know that I have massive anxiety about cycling and I haven't been for I would say like since before Christmas. It's a long time. Anyway, so we're gonna hit the bikes today and then I've got meditation and yin this evening. Don't really know what's happening for lunch, but we'll fill the day. Hope you enjoy. to get on the bike and that's why I'm like yes let's do it actually someone in the comments I think it was the vegan wife um, I can't remember your first name but you comment on all my videos and you said that you were going to the market um, on your bike the other day so you have inspired me to get cycling again so thanks so much much bigger deal than what it is because we're not going crazy hills but anyway I feel more comfortable wearing my workout gear instead of cycling gear so, oh gosh I really do not like when hold on when my legs feel um like restricted or I don't know it brings me back to when I used to be overweight and it doesn't make me feel very good affirmation for today I make peace with my anxiety and I do the things that make me feel good we're about to go cycling this is the first one in about well actually I went once so I reckon it's probably about four months but we'll see how we go and I'll keep you posted hey everybody it's Peter here, guest vlogger on Melanie K. Love today. <laughs> Mel is concentrating hard on her cycle. How are you going, honey? Going good. Yeah, she's doing great. I did it! It was 9Ks. It was very easy, but it was a good way to get into it. Peter over here is like the best teacher in the world. Hey, baby. Hey. I said you're the best teacher in the world. Oh, thanks. <laughs> anyway, so it's copper time. coffee and now I have so much energy so I'm gonna run across the bridge and back it's tiny but it's something I'll flip you around because the bridge is beautiful all right guys this is the view tiny little bridge but cool let's get so much graffiti fishermen killing things animals oh my god my loves just a little bit of running. I don't know what it is, but every time I, I cycle, I just have so much energy. It wasn't very far, but you know, it's a start. Hmm. Anyways, see if we can find Peter on the way home because he's actually cycled home. So he needs to get in more Ks. So I've done like 
nine and a half k's today and he'd probably be doing 50. It's crazy to think I used to do 38 k's was like my normal my normal cycle. Anyway, we have to start somewhere. So no matter where you are in your journey to become the greatest version, make the choice today to do something to get out of your comfort zone because when you get out of the comfort zone, that's when you grow and things just start to transpire and your life begins to transform. And when you're in that realm, that means that you're in the cyclists everywhere. It means that you're in the vortex. If you follow Abraham Hicks, when you're in the vortex, that means that you're truly in alignment with your authentic self. And when I'm running and or um, cycling, I just feel good. <sighs> yes, it's going to help um, make my body a lot healthier, but I do it because it's like a mental thing to break through to prove to myself. And it's also a sense of um, accomplishment and it helps me to do stress because, you know, we have way too much stress in our lives. Hence the reason why I've made a meditation series that you guys need to watch. I've got three videos so far. One is releasing stress and anxiety. The other one is the inner child. And the other one, I can't remember what it was about, but it was very good. <laughs> Anyways, my love, let's drive home. Let's see if we can find Peter. We've got like cleaning to do today. I've got meal prep to do for the week. Sunday's kind of our like get your act together and we want to do some reading today because we haven't read in like ages sounds really boring but I really don't care <laughs> then um, yin which is like stretching and meditation is at 4 30 to 5 30 sometimes it goes to 6 depending on um, Meg she's our teacher she's very cool and then we'll probably have a light dinner and then go straight to bed but it's just yeah I just love yeah, I should be doing this every day. Well, let's change that phrase. I will be moving the energy within my body every single day. Even if it's just going upside down for a little bit. Anyway, I'm speaking for way too long in this block. Let's go home and clean the house and I'll probably have some... I don't know. Let's just go home. I need to charge my phone. It's dying. Alright, so this is part of our meal prep. Just got four cups of... Well, dry weight of turmeric rice. And over here... Look at this pumpkin. <laughs> I'm too lazy to peel it. I just shove the whole thing in. Anyway, I have a really cool recipe for you on, in my ebook. And then we've got some potatoes because we just live on potatoes, and these ones are so good. Anyways, my loves, I'm still like sitting on the bench. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> and I do the cleaning up. <laughs> yeah. A man's work is never done. <laughs> no, it's not like that at all. We're very equal. <laughs> it's all right. Um, yeah, so Peter and I were just watching Casey Neistat's blog, um, and he was talking about how he and Candace are um, selling up their house in Connecticut. And astrologically, there's a lot of movement in terms of your living situations. You might not necessarily be moving out, but there could be something happening like for us at the moment. Katie, our housemate, is moving out. So you probably you would have seen Katie in lots of my vlogs. Um, and I actually did a video about her and you can check it out right here. Uh, it's called My Vegan Housemate. And um, yeah, she started moving out last weekend. And she'll be back to collect the rest of the stuff. So our house is looking a little bare at the moment. Like we had a bookshelf over here. And there was like, oh, it's pretty overexposed. Like there was a fridge and another bookshelf over there. So things are changing. But we feel like, we were just saying before that um, we feel like we've outgrown this house. But we haven't found something that we want to move into just yet. So there's lots of changes. There's changes... Um, to my friend Christina's house. She's moved from the Gold Coast to Sydney. Who else? Honey, who um, blah, 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 have had changes? We don't know. Mum, mm. because Jessie passed away. There's changes to her situation. Oh, look, there's a scrub turkey out here. Can you see that? Can you see? Hmm. Anyway, this is what happens when you live in the rainforest. And yeah. Lots of changes to your living situation. So comment below and let me know what's been going on for you guys because astrologically stuff is getting crazy.
right, well, I didn't film what we did this afternoon, but we basically were just cleaning the house and just relaxing. And Peter is recipe testing one of my curry recipes. Well, the only curry recipe in my ebook. And yeah, can't really give too much away. You'll just have to wait and see. So for dinner tonight, we're having sweet potato and butternut pumpkin curry. It looks absolutely amazing. And just wanted to remind you to continue to make better choices than the day before because it's going to help you on your journey to become the greatest version. Just want to say thank you so, mu so much for the beautiful comments I've been receiving in all of my videos from Tuesday to Friday at 6 p.m. It's truly overwhelming and I'm so grateful to have you. Anyways, my loves, I will see you next episode. Love you so much. Bye.